Hey everybody, it's Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Great presentation of a car today. We're going to talk about a 79 Trans Am. Let's talk first off a little more about why this car is a big deal. I want to give you my little pitch about this. In the high school time when I was there, maybe the 80s or whatever, the rich kids had these cars, right? I did not have these cars. I had a beater, right? And so uh, I was scarred by that. And after many, many years of therapy, I decided to open a classic car dealership so that I could have all of these that I wanted and not have to live in the past every time I went to some high school reunion and pull up in the beater. So that's my quick story. That's my therapy. I'm in a lot better shape today than I was then. And so thank you for uh, humoring me in hearing that. This car here, though, beautifully restored black car very rare we get to see the red bird with the red interior it looks so nice and different man a lot of times you just see the black interior and you say well this is a great looking car but a lot of times people don't know why it starts with a 15 by 8 snowflake wheel if you do the 15 by 7s it doesn't get the lip of the wheel so it looks stupid and dorky for some reason i don't really know uh, and a lot of times they don't finish the call outs on the car and lastly but most importantly is right the quality of the paint, right? You may want to go to a car show. You might want to walk out in your garage and just look at it. You might want to take uh, another couple out to dinner with the kids or something. This car will be that. And more importantly, it has some great luxury features of today's modern car, which will allow you to do that. All right, so let's talk about paint for a second. In the showroom here with these bright LEDs and what have you, you can see the detail of every rib of the ceiling. You can see every piece of the wiring that goes in between the lights. I'm looking at it right now going, wow, this is amazing. And what people don't understand is it's not tied up in the painting process, it's tied up in the prep. And if you do good prep, then you have a long-term paint, right? Meaning that it's not gonna uh, come apart in three years or five years. This is a 20-year paint job, right? So the prep, and you'll know I'm telling you the truth here when you say, uh, so let's say you were at home and you fixed a nail pop in your house real quick, and then you went ahead and painted it, and you come back the next day and you can kind of still see the nail pop underneath there. Well, that was the prep work. The prep work wasn't good enough. We can all paint this car here spectacular all the way through. I want to show you because you can read all the letters, and here's what I mean by that. All the letters you can read, nice and crisp. Every letter, picture, and what have you in this right here will show you. You can see letters in other paint, but you can't see them crisp and fresh like this. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood for a minute. Like, this is a big deal. 400 cubic inches, right? So 6.6 .6 liters, we'll call it for that. Uh, but the, the, the good part is wrapped up farther into that, meaning that it has factory air conditioning, right? It has factory power disc brakes. It has factory power steering. So a lot of times we forget to ask about these modern things because our modern car comes standard with that. These cars did not come with all those things. The cow tag still over there showing the way the car was built from the factory, right? All of this stuff is in place, like even like uh, emissions decals. And you say, well, Tom, why do you, what is it, what, what's a decal do? And you're absolutely right. A decal doesn't save the car or make it a better car. What it does do, though, is tell you that the detail stuff has been done on the car and great restored cars or cars that are stored really well have the detail stuff done. All right, signature Pontiac look from behind. There's no mistaking this for a Z28. Even though those cars are very similar for their time, the back of the Trans Am has a Trans Am look, not to mention a small little call out on the back trunk lid, small, that says you get the picture. Anyway, back to the details. The details are wrapped up in here too. So for instance, uh, the trunk carpeting is there. And then I hear you saying in there right now while you're watching the video, so what it has trunk carpeting. You didn't let me finish. Let me finish, okay? Let me finish. Spare tire, all right? Space saver spare tire, the correct space saver spare tire. Jacking instructions still in place. The trunk light works, right? You say, well, the trunk light works. Isn't it have a trunk light? They're all supposed to work? Yes, but all of those little things don't work. That's why I'm sharing with you levels of restoration. This thing probably didn't work two years after the trunk, after it was new, and now somebody's done all the work to rewire and make sure all that works the way it's supposed to. All right, so come join me inside here because uh, I feel like the Trans Am interior is so much nicer than the Camaro interior, right? And this one in particular, because it has luxury stuff. Like this was an expensive car where we're talking about power windows, right? Uh, we're talking about air conditioning. The uh, AM, FM uh, radio is here, right? Uh, remote mirrors and the great dash, man. The Trans Am dash is awesome. Look at it. For instance, you got like, a uh, full set of gauges, you have uh, a water, oil, speedo, tack, and what have you. And then it has a small little thing that I like to check once in a while that says to me, you know, 
a car is a really nice restoration, and that's if the clock works. The clock works in this car. You say, well, Tone, uh, whatever. Well, you can say whatever, but the clock didn't work two or three years uh, after it was new, and the fact that it's working right now in the little trunk light and the underhood uh, light and the decals and what have you, that's the kind of restoration that I'm talking about that gives you just a better car than other cars. All right, so let's close up the video here and run down some of the things that make some cars better than other. I call this a collector car. Why is it a collector car? Well, let's run down some of that. Starlight black paint, mirror finish, clearly we looked at that. Uh, loaded with options like air conditioning, tilt wheel, right? Uh, power windows, uh, power disc brakes, like all of these things in there that make for the details. The trunk that's so beautifully done with a space saver. You say, well, Tone, stop talking about the space saver. Well, I have to because you know what? So many of these cars don't have any of those items, and that's why some cars are worth more than others. Throw in the fact that this has documentation, original window sticker, um, original uh, dealer invoice, uh, bills of sales, restoration receipts, 15 by 8 snowflakes with BFG tires. I mean, it's a great car, and now you see why it has the value that it does. And these are the kind of cars that continue to go up like this while other cars stall. All right? Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you all about this uh, awesome, awesome TA. And don't forget to like the video if you would and share it with your friends. And subscribe to the channel. We're doing these all the time. We'd love to send you more.